Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions and very first sniff of a new fragrance from the House of Guerlain, a part of their Aqua Allegoria collection. This is Flora Salvagia. This was released along with another fragrance from the same collection, Natare de Sole. Uh, but I was more interested in this one, mostly because of the notes. Uh, there's melon in here. So I'll just read out the quick little write-up here for you guys, just to give a little bit more information about it. Sorry that my glasses are doing that again. <laughs> okay, so... A revitalizing watermelon note refreshes a wildflower accord whose poetry is tinged with powdery iris and violet facets and illuminated by an armful of white flowers. So that sounds beautiful. Watermelon, violet, iris. I, I love all of the notes. Uh, the bottle looks like this. Looks the same as the other Aqua Allegoria uh, perfumes, but this one has a really nice soft uh, light tinge of violet slash purple. So yes, this is my first sniff of this one. I'm hoping that that watermelon slash melon notes is prominent because I really love watermelon notes and I only have one watermelon perfume that I can think of and it's Limperatrice from Dolce & Gabbana. It's one of my favorites for the summer. So hopefully it's prominent in this one. Let's just give it a first sniff here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I totally get the melon note in here. It's making me think of honeydew though. It's making me think of honeydew, the sweetness of honeydew, and then watermelon, but you know that white part just under the red juicy part that you eat? I get that in here as well. Super pretty, watery, fruity, um, transparent. It's, uh, it's also remi reminding me of the juice of watermelon and the juice of honeydew and uh, other assorted melons. Yeah, I'm thinking this is perfect for summer. Well, a lot of these fragrances from this collection are because it has this really nice light airiness about it that isn't very strong, which is kind of common again with uh, many perfumes from this collection. I'm getting a little bit of the violet now coming through, but this opening is a watery, fresh burst of watermelon juice, honeydew melon juice, um, maybe some cantaloupe as well. And by the way, I love the scent and taste of cantaloupe and I am looking for the best cantaloupe perfume and I don't even think it's a very common note. Um, but if I can find something that smells exactly like a cantaloupe, literally, then I would, I would love that. <laughs> but this one is more like a mixed melon fruitiness, more so the juiciness, uh, the juicy part, rather than the flesh of um, the actual fruit. And yeah, a little bit of that violet creeping in now. It's nice. I can totally see myself dousing myself like 20 sprays on a very hot summer day going to the park or for lunch or something or like a garden party <laughs> that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of a garden party or a high tea or something like that so the notes here on Fragrantica are uh, there's some extra ones here the top notes are violet watery notes melon and wildflowers and with the melon they're actually showing a, uh, a cantaloupe here rather than a watermelon. Uh, the middle notes are solar notes, orange blossom, and jasmine. The base notes are violet, iris, and white musk. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> uh, now I smell the white musk now that I read it. You know, sometimes when after you look at the notes, then you can pick on it, pick up on it, but then beforehand it, do it's, uh, it doesn't register. <laughs> I do have that with this one now because now I can smell the musk coming through and it's very soft, very delicate, 
super pretty. Oh. <laughs> and I'm thinking of like a garden, but then beside it, there's like this nice uh, clear water stream beside it, making that nice, uh, that sound of water. I don't know. <laughs> It's nice I like this so yeah I will test this on my skin and see how it goes uh, I'll put an update down there uh, with how it dried down and stuff like that but first impressions nice very nice uh, transparent watery fruit and on the test strip here uh, it's starting to become more floral mostly mostly violet and I don't own very many violet perfumes. I think the only one I have is the uh, Insolence by Guerlain. And uh, that's a beautiful one as well. But yeah, this is really pretty. I like that. I would like it if uh, the, uh, the fruity part was more of that fleshy part of the fruit. But again, just my first impressions. Maybe that comes up more on my skin. Who knows? But anyways... This is lovely. I like this. <laughs> Aqua Allegoria Flora Salvagia, uh, new perfume from this collection from the House of Guerlain. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I would love to hear your opinion on this fragrance, of course, in the comments. Um, also, have you tried Natare de Sole? Uh, I would love to hear your opinion on that as well and which one you like more. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.